Hey guys, I'm back to do another tutorial. I have previously uh, done this technique uh, and never was really happy with the results of it. Uh, hopefully today that's gonna go a lot better. Uh, what I have learned from some experience and watching uh, others on YouTube is that it's not unusual for you to not be totally thrilled with <laughs> some part of your painting, especially if it's any size at all. So um, today I'm going to try to not uh, overthink it and be too much of a perfectionist, which is something I struggle with. <laughs> so um, let's cross our fingers and hope for the best. Um, I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas today. Uh, I've already flooded it with uh, black paint. Um, I'm going to be using all Artist Loft paints except for one, which uh, is this uh, Deco Art Extreme Sheen Amethyst, which uh, is really, really pretty. Uh, but I've had some trouble in the past of getting it to really um, show up in, in my paintings. Uh, I've been successful one other time. Hopefully it's not just going to disappear today. Um, the other colors that we will have today are um, metallic violet, um, metallic white, metallic cobalt blue, silver, orange, and I might add a little bright yellow. Haven't decided about that specifically yet. And um, more black as needed. Okay, uh, what we're gonna be doing is an open cup pour and I'm going to do three separate ones instead of trying to use one which is what I've done in the past and you know picking it up and moving it to another area today I'm not going to do that I'm going to, I'm going to leave it there and and start another one and see how that goes and see if I have better results with uh, with that so let's get started. Um, I'm gonna get, go ahead and put one here. I'm not gonna place my other ones until after I've poured one, um, but I've already got an idea where I wanna put them. So um, let's get started with, uh, I'm gonna pour a little black around. And let's get started with the violet. Pour from up high. Some white. Um, some orange Do some silver Cobalt. And let's do some of this amethyst. Now let's decide on whether I'm going 
to do any of the yellow. Right now, I don't think so. I'm going to stick with the color palette that we're working with. Um, let's do some more metallic white. on that. I'm going to put, try some more of this cobalt. I'm not really seeing that much. And some more silver. Okay, I'm going to leave that one. And start me another one over here. A little higher up than I started that one. Um, also, another thing that I guess I've struggled with is um, not wanting any negative space. If I have some negative space today, that's going to be all fine and good with me. Try with the violet again. Start with that. white some of this orange Oops. Okay, I'm gonna have to. This one needs to go that way, and I really don't want it to do that, so I'm gonna tilt a little. black around at that time I forgot I don't know if I'm not seeing a lot of difference in into the movement and some I guess um, I'm not really seeing the white so much Yes, it's the difference I'm really seeing. Let's do some more silver. I like to take my time and see how the paint is, you know, developing. What what kind of effects I'm getting before I decide what to do next. I'm going to tilt a little this way again, a little more. Still got a lot of paint underneath of both of these cups, especially this one. start another one right here. 
here. This time I'm going to start with the, the amethyst. I've noticed that that seems to be getting a lot of movement. Orange. Vault. Let's do some violet, metallic violet. Some more white. I'm going to put some more paint in this one is kind of what I'm seeing I might want to do uh, further. Do me a little shot of some black in this right here. Actually, I might do that with all of them. This one, I'm not liking at it all. It's, it's 
really looking cloud, what I would call muddy, cloudy. There's no clear cells hardly, except on the edges. Uh, but I'm not going to, to rush it. Uh, I know that these paintings can change <laughs> over time if you let your paint do what it wants to do. This one I'm going to sweep out toward this edge, turn, and take my paint over to this edge. going to uh, tilt just a tad. Got so much more paint on this side, this one side, not very much on the other. I'm going to take the paint over this direction because of that very reason. And this one I'm going to bring down this way. See what we've got. And I lost a bunch of my paint there. If that's an issue. Quick torch. Now we're going to move some of this stuff out of the way. to move some of the paint. Time to move it around. Since I'm not really liking this corner here closest to me. Um, I think I will slide it this way the first. Come back. Second, have a look at it. I like the look of it better now over here. I really like this right here, so I don't want to lose that. Um, then I like that, but I'm losing it, but that's that's going to be okay. Still not the craziest about this side. It still looks pretty cloudy to me. And 
and that is kind of what I found with that deco art amethyst it depending on the other paints that it mixes with it ends up looking cloudy it's not too bad though it's I'm going to bring it over this way again. Get rid of that little piece there I'm not really crazy about. Oh, and the main thing is there's a lot of paint spill on this canvas and uh, you can't have too much paint or you're going to end up having cracking and it's not going to look good. And we like to, uh, you know, moving the, the paint around uh, allows for opening up cells. its own sweet time. There we go. I do still have quite a bit of paint on the canvas. So I think um, I, I may stretch it out this way some more. I'm kind of liking it, but like uh, like I said at the beginning, it often is the case that there's going to be parts that you don't like. Uh, now that I, you know, hindsight, I probably would have left the silver out of the mix. Um, I'm not liking the way this white and silver combined and uh, the orange might have left the orange out as well uh, maybe went with a magenta or you know something different uh, but it, 
it's it's got its it's got its good points. Um, I wouldn't call it a total fail. Uh, it's not my favorite work by any means, but um, let me take the camera down and give you a close up. Um, I don't know. Well, I changed my mind about that. <laughs> oh, you know the 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 artists changing their mind. It's a constant. I hate it. I love it. Kind of thing. I saw that meme and I so much uh, understood that. I'm going to bring it down a little bit, a much this way again, because that part right here is just really irritating me. <laughs> and I have enough paint on here to to um, get rid of that. I mean, there's other parts that I'm not crazy about as well, but. Hmm. That is kind of my biggest challenge is learning when to, to say when. Sometimes what you do helps and sometimes it just, it doesn't. So that it can actually be worse the more you mess with it. Let's see, go back to the middle, see what we got going on. I'm not loving this part right here, but it does give it some some de some detail, some character. Uh, you could, I don't know, you know, <laughs> think of that as a a piece of you know amethyst that you dug up, and it's got a vein of some graphite or something through it. I don't know. Um, and this part is uh, very different. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know what to call that. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna stop there. And uh, let me grab the camera and uh, give you a close up. Now this has got so much metallic in it that once it's dry and um, it's going to look different than it actually does right now. Um, when it's wet, you, you really can't see the metallic until it's actually dry. The effects really change once it's dried. But, um, now this, this one has got some definite interesting features to it. Some pretty colors, purple being my favorite, so that definitely makes me happy. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this tutorial. Now, uh, some of the tips I've talked about will be helpful. Um, I will try to make another tutorial before too long, uh, being as I am fairly new at doing this myself. Um, uh, that's why I'm not making too many videos yet, but I look forward to making more in the future. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. And I will be talking to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, guys. I'm going to have to admit to you, I couldn't leave it alone. Um, there was still an awful lot of paint still on the canvas. And uh, there was just areas that, too many areas that I just was not feeling. So, um, I have continued to to move the paint around and but I've decided to stop now but I thought I would uh, 
show you because it has changed quite a bit a lot of the um, movement and getting rid of all that extra paint has allowed uh, opening up of areas that were all crunched up like this this area here you couldn't even really hardly see that before and uh, remember this is going to look it's going to look different when it's dried like all this here has got silver all through that and that's got a zillion little specks of other paint in there but that's going to look really different when it when it dries but i think i'm happier with this um you know I don't, i'm not 100 percent about it about a few areas but that's okay uh overall i think it's turned out real real pretty turn it around this way and let you see just an overall view of it but uh, there it is guys hope you liked it i'll be seeing you again soon bye bye